Thank you, Jesus. Let's praise the Lord in here. Let's stand and give God the glory this morning. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. Hallelujah. And we serve a great God. He's a universal God. And all power is in his hand. And so just on this day, the Lord's day, we want to give him thanks. Hallelujah. Oh, how great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. All oh, sing how great. How great is our God. Oh, how great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. I will sing how great, how great is our God. Name above, name above all names. God. Name above, name above all names. Lord, you're worthy of, you are worthy, worthy of all praise. And my heart will sing, and my heart will sing. Oh, how, how great is our God. Oh, yes, come on, how great, how great is our God. Sing with me, how great. Is our God? Oh, we'll sing how great, how great is our God. Give Him all the praise. How great is our God? Sing with me. How great is our God? Oh, we'll sing how great, how great is our God. He's a great God. Yes, come on. He's a great God, he's a great God. Yes, he is. Oh, he's a great God, he's a great God. How great, how great is our God. We're gonna sing that again. He's a great God. Oh, he's a great God, he's a great God. He's a great God, he's a great God. Oh, yes, how great. How great 
is our God. Oh, how great, how great is our God. Oh, how great is our God. To give you praise, I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you. I lift my hands. I lift my hands to give you glory. I lift my voice to give you praise. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I'm gonna praise you. Come on, I lift my hands. To give you glory, I lift my voice to give you praise. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I'm gonna praise you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lift my hands to give you glory. I lift my voice to give you praise. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord.
praise them. I praise you, Lord. You know he's worthy. I praise you, Lord. You need to put your praise on it. I praise you, Lord. Because when praises go up, blessings come down. I praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. I praise you, Lord. I lift him up. Come on, come on, come on. I lift him up. Come on. I lift him up. Say, I lift him up. I lift him up. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. of the will of God concerning every one of us. God said, put your name on it. He said, put your name on it. He said, make it personal and put your name on it. And we thank the Lord in Jesus' name. At this time, with today is our youth day, and we have our youth moderator for today, and that is Sister Melanie Nelson, and she's going to come in that order, you continue to stand because we'll be going through our prayer and all. God bless you. Lord, praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. Praise God. I'm just thankful to be here. Uh, uh, first, give an honor to the Lord. <laughs> and give an honor to our bishop, Bishop Nodden. <laughs> Amen. And my first lady, first class. Amen. And uh, to the um, honoree here, uh, to the person here, uh, and uh, to all the saints. And, you know, thank God for being here. Thank God for Mother Billy and Mother of the Church, Mother Rucker, and all the people, Ella Hope. Amen. And Ella Richardson, amen. Thank God. I just thank the Lord for being here, and amen. And just a blessing to be here in present, in person, in person. Amen. So many people can't get out the bed. I know people that can't get out the bed, but they are on Facebook. Thank God for Facebook, because some people can't be here. I know people personally cannot be here, but they looking on Facebook, and they appreciate this ministry. And I thank God for that. Amen. And so, um, okay, and my introduction, my name is Melody Nelson. I'm the moderator for today. Um, and that's just a blessing to be here. Okay, and, um, this, and this is um, um, the children's um, youth service today. So we just thank God for the youth. Amen. Let's give them a hand. Hallelujah. They are for today, people. Children are a blessing. Amen. We thank God for them. When you train them up, they will be as you train them. Amen. Because they like sponges. They soak up everything. So you have to be careful of what you say and do in front of them. 
I used to work with children back in the day, so I know I don't have none personally, and it's okay. But I thank God for them. Amen. So, hallelujah. Um, uh, scripture will come by uh, Penelope Nodden and a welcome by Zael McGee. Come in that order, please. Thank you. Okay, and the prayer, oh, my bad, everyone. The prayer is going to be by Sister Liz. Amen. Let's give her a hand. Amen. Thank God for her. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we got something new going on today, so this is my first time up here doing a prayer. I thank you. Kendra, for giving me this honor. Gracious God, we thank you for letting us meet up again on another Sunday for these youths to have their day today. Lord, we just bless them. We ask for your prayers. We ask for your blessing. We thank you for getting us here safe and on time, Lord, and we just thank you for being who you are. Without you, Lord, we could be nothing. We're nothing without you, Lord. So we just ask that you give us your blessing on today and bless this youth program in your precious son, Jesus. Amen. And one. I will praise you with my whole heart. Before the gods, I will sing praises to you. May God add a blessing to his word. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. Um, we thank God for the um, prayer on, by Sister Liz, and we thank God for the scripture by um, Penelope. Amen. Now the welcome will come by Zyrell McGee. I welcome you to Holy Way Church of God in Christ located at 17. To, to Firestone Boulevard in Los Angeles, CA. Our Bishop and First Lady, Charles and Cecilia Nalden, are some of the most warmest, welcoming leaders, whether you are here in the sanctuary or viewing via, via Facebook. I welcome you and thank you for your fellowship. God bless you all. Okay, praise God for that wonderful welcome. Thank you. Amen. And the youth choir will be singing, Love One Another. Emmanuel. Amen. Emmanuel.
for the youth choir. Woo! Praise the Lord. Amen. What a blessing to hear their voices in the church, you guys. Amen. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see. Next, we will have Penelope Nodding to introduce our speaker. Thank you for allowing me to be your moderator. Have a blessed evening, you guys. Today we will hear from two smart, kind young men. The first is Ramsey Gamble and the second is Minister Glennell Nodding. The theme will be, Lord, you know all about me. Please receive them with a warm hand clap.
Good morning, Saints. My name is Ramsey Gamble, and today I will be reading Psalms 139, verses 1 through 4. Lord, you look me deep inside me, and you know everything about me. You know when I get up, even when you are far away, you understand what I'm thinking about. You see me when I go out. You see me when you see me out. You see me when I go out. And you see me when I stay at home. You know everything that I do. Yes, Lord, before I open my mouth to speak, you know what I will say. God knows everything about us. He is always with us. He knows when we are happy. He knows when we are sad. God knows. Even we act good, even when we act good, even when we act not so good. Um, in Jeremiah 1, verses 5, God told Jeremiah, I already knew you before I made you inside your mother's body. I chose you in special, in to be special before you were born. God loves us so much and wants to be with us. In I'm a, I'm a uh, how do you pronounce? Huh? Thank you. Deuteronomy 3, three 31 through 9, I mean through 8, 30, 31, 8, 30. oh, sorry, uh, uh, thir 31, 8, is that how I say it? Okay. 31.8, God, God says, I, I will never leave us for forsake us. I am happy to know God. I am happy to know God knows me. And I, and I really think that, um, you know God, if you're in God, he's going to open the gates to heaven for you. And <laughs> All right. Good afternoon. Praise the Lord, saints. Come on, praise the Lord, saints. Ramsey sure did good. He could take my place when I go. The theme is today is, Lord, you know all about me. Psalms 139, 7 and 10. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of dawn, and if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me and your right hand will hold me fast. This psalm was written, written by King David. David is talking about a relationship with God. In order for you to know God, you have to, get, you have, to have a relationship with him. God doesn't want to be far from you. He wants to know you. He wants to be right next to you, guide you. 
That's what God we serve. God wants one who, who t- once took care of sheep, right? God takes care of us as his sheep, right? Sheep are independent on their shepherd. Shepherds was always there for their sheep. That's the God we serve. I want you to know that the Lord is my shepherd. He will never leave you. You know why? Because he made you. He gave you the personality you have today. He built your head. He built your toes. He built your body. God is a loving God. God is a God who wants to lead you as his sheep. God wants you to... God wants you to know him as your shepherd and know that he will protect you from the wolves, protect you from the devil. You know, God is much stronger than the devil. God said we have authority over the devil. The devil may be a whole other creature that used to be an angel. But God said we have control over the devil and his angels. God gave us enough power to cast out a devil in the flick of a hand. God gave us enough power to pray over somebody and they will be healed. God gave us enough power to take to go to a sick person and cast out all of those devils and heal them right now. That's the God we serve. We got a mighty God. Our God Gave us enough power so when we stomp our feet, the devil will get upset because he knows we're praising God. You are the sheep of his pastor. And if you love the Lord, you will never be want for it. You will never want for anything. The Lord knows all about you. He knows all the numbers on your head. He knows all about you. He knows what you're thinking. He knows what you're talking about. He knows what you're dreaming about. You know why? Because God is God, and God knows everything. God even knows the sinners right now. God knows what you are doing right now. When you go in a quiet place, he sees you. The Bible says, the eye of the Lord is in every place. Beholding the evil and the good. Sometimes we think we know everything. Ourselves. And we start trying to tell God what to do. But we can't do that because God is all powerful. God. We're lucky enough that God even gave us a mind to think. Because without God, our minds would even be functioning right now. Without God giving us a mind, we wouldn't even be thinking without. With. God is a true and loving God. He's the only God. I don't care who comes in the church right now and says God's not real. I rebuke that devil right now. I believe that if we give the world to God, I believe if we give the people to God, the world to God, he will fix it. All these identity crises that's going in the world right now, if we just give the world to God, he will fix it. But everybody's focused on themselves nowadays. Everybody don't want to go to church but hang out with their friends and go to the club nowadays. But if we are in our right mind, We will come to church and worship God, and we will be in heaven while they are in the lake of fire for eternity. I believe if we follow God as our shepherd, he will open the gates of heavens, like Ramsey said, and let us in for eternity. I believe that God will reward us for what we did down here on this earth and what we went through to follow him right now. I believe that if you follow God, you will not end up in the lake of fire when it's time. I believe right now, if you go to God right now, you will not end up in hell right now. I promise you that when you die and if you follow God, 
God, you will be in the gates of heaven with Jesus, presiding with him forever and ever, all eternity. David said, God knows your thoughts and what you are thinking, even before you speak it. He knows all about your ways. Even if they're evil, he knows. You're, you can't hide nothing from God. Because God is all knowledge. God knows everything. David said, everywhere I go, the Lord is there. Leave California and go to New York, God is there. If you leave America and go to Africa, God is there. If you leave Africa and go to France, God is there. If you follow God, I promise you, no matter where you go, you will be blessed by him. There is no escaping God. There is no escaping God. Once God is with you, God is with you. He'll never forsake you, even if you're a sinner, God. As I'm closing, I'm going to tell you, submit to the Lord before it's too late. You have so many chances right now. Submit to the Lord before you burn in hell forever. See, many people right now are in hell. They're praying to just get the smallest drop of water for satisfaction. But you know what? The answer is no, since they wasn't a sheep of God's pastor. Praise the Lord, saints. all over the building. Come on, let's just give God some praise and tell him thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody say, I know that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. God bless you. You may be seated. Amen. I have something to praise him for. Somebody may wonder why you patting, why you dancing, why you jumping. Tell somebody, say, I have something to praise him for. 
You don't know how good God been to me. So I come to praise him. How many come to praise him? You ought to, you ought, you ought to just stand on your feet real quick and say, I come to praise him. Come on, I come to praise him. Glory! stand here all evening and into the night you may be seated and throw a name and why come to praise him but I'm not going to share all of that with you I am going to tell you one thing that I come to that I want you to understand why I act this way and why I come to praise him one is that I thank God, amen, when I see Ramsey. Where's Ramsey at? Ramsey at. Glenel. Penelope right there. The, 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 all my five children in the house together. Amen. All the in the church, and all the young people, the young people that are sitting here, all the young people that are under, under 20, stand on your feet. Everybody under 20. Sit down, Joyce. I didn't say, I didn't say under 120. All those that are under 20. Amen. Sit down, Mother Billy. All right. All those under, sit down, Terry. All those that are under, under, under 20, stand on. Give these young people a hand praise. You see, you see what they were doing today at church, to the glory of God. You go home and turn your TV on, you see them, babies. Hey Amen. They're recruiting children for games, and they're putting dope and marijuana and, and, and heroin and, and uh, all of that into baby underclothes and transport places. They're using our young people for the good for the work of the enemy, and the world is is, is discipling them and getting them at a young age. They can't even go to school almost without coming home or somebody violent or something taking place. So when I see them in church doing what I seen this morning, I got something to praise them for. How many now? How many tell me that you ought to have something to praise them for for what you saw this morning? When I see what I see this morning, I got something to praise them for. So praise them. Hallelujah. Spirit, Sister Omika asked me uh, what I was going to speak to something, and I told her, I said, well, I'll, I'll speak after the children. I'll come behind the children and uh, wrap it up. I ain't got nothing to wrap up. You 
you know, I figured they'll say a little something and then I'll have to come behind them. And Well, I guess figured that it already wrapped up now. Right. Amen. Amen. We enjoy our speakers on today. Give them a hand and pray. It's good to see each of you this morning. And I've been praying and asking God to restore us from the pandemic. So many people that still haven't came back to church during the pandemic. They didn't. Yeah, I guess I guess they'll be in pandemic the rest of their life. You know, man. Some of them really have come back, but I believe it's God, amen, that he restore and I believe God is doing that for us. I'm so thankful to just see some very special guests. We we are blessed today. We got guests that uh, all the way from Houston, Texas. Yeah. I'm using my imagination now. Uh, she flew a private jet in there just to be here to see and to see her uncle. Amen. No, Joyce and uh, Tash T T Tashanda. Amen. These are my family people, my relatives. Amen. Thank you for being here. Uh, Tashanda and Joyce. Amen. T today, God bless you. Amen. And we're so thankful. Amen. For Pastor Carson, Sister Carson. They always just... Amen. He, he befriended me way back doing, I think, doing Bishop A.J. Clark days. And, amen. And we are still hanging in there. Amen. amen. Sister Carson, Miller Carson, they just, just love people. They love Holy Way. They love people everywhere. And we're so amen. thankful for you. Amen. You're one of my superintendents in the jurisdiction. Amen. amen. Thank you for being here this morning and dropping in on us. Amen. Uh, what I want to do before we, before we, before we leave uh, I'm so thankful for, I got a surprise this morning, you know, from a, a, my friend, my adjutant, amen, Elder Bo. Yeah. When I first met him, now, Bo, 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 Bo got a, a last name, I, I can't pronounce that well, but I just, everybody called him Elder Bo. That's it, I first met him, I said, what's your name, man? He said, just call me Bo, Elder Bo. He's a, he's a, Ardain Elder, he's a jurisdiction adjutant, a national adjutant, and he's also just finished his, he got his theological, is that a doctor of divinity? A well, I'm going to let him tell you, he just finished college. <laughs> yeah. He just finished college. He just finished college, got his ring, yes. amen, and, and uh, when he missed the meeting, he let me know that where he, where he at, you know, and, and I met him, I met him during the transition of Bishop McKinney. He's a member of St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ. And there, he was assigned to me as an adjutant. And uh, he have taken care of me, uh, would not let me go to my room by myself or anything. You know, he have taken care of me as a, and served me tremendously. I'm so thankful. I didn't even know he was coming today. He just kind of sneaked in on me. Elder Bo is, is some kind of guy. I love him, and it's amazing, you know. Y'all, y'all know I'm from Arkansas, you know. So, 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 <laughs> I was out in, 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 in Memphis and everything, and I wanted to run over to Arkansas to see my sister. Bo drove me to Arkansas. He took me to Arkansas. <laughs> you know, you know when I left Arkansas. When I left Arkansas. I was doing the driving, and Bo probably be sitting in the back. You know, he driving him. <laughs> this time, Bo was driving me. <laughs> you know, but, so we had a good time. He drove me in Sicilia and just, just took care of, went over to my sister's house and ate catfish. And uh, we, we just had a good time. And uh, he's, he's uh, have served very diligently uh, since I became the bishop. And I just want him to come and greet us. And then, Ella Carson, I want you to greet us too. You was here. You know, you, you know, have a word, a greeting. And the, the preaching is already over with now. I'm just, I'm just reaching out at my friends now, just sharing this time with them. Amen. Would y'all do that for me? Everybody yeah. preach it. Thank you. God bless you. Get him a mic. Let's, let's give him a hand, praise the kind of elbow. Praise the Lord. 
Thank you so much, Bishop, First Lady, and, and all the wonderful men and women of God and all the wonderful saints. It's so wonderful to be uh, here today. I come and greet you from St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ in San Diego. And this one, thank you. We're part of this wonderful uh, second jurisdiction. Maybe you've heard of it. You know, we've got one of the greatest bishops. You know, don't tell Bishop Sheard. You know, he might not agree with that, but, you know, we, we think that he's pretty fancy here, and you get to call him your pastor, and that's Bishop Nowden. Thank you so much. And his grandson is uh, obviously on his well on his way. I've been working with him a lot, and I told him today when he said, oh, I'm preaching, I said, well, I guess I picked a good day to come. So just like when, you know, the Lord sends you different places and always puts good things in your way, sometimes he'll supersize it you know, get you on a good day, and, and the youth presentation here today, what a wonderful service, so I told him, I said, today I'm your adjutant, and the mu wonderful musicians, everything, I, I tell you what, there's a beautiful church, a wonderful church, thank you so much for uh, welcoming me, like Bishop said, I, I served as uh, under Bishop McKinney before he passed as one of his assistant adjutants, and then also served with the National Church with the National Security and it's kind of interesting because when I first met uh, Bishop uh, during the transition, you know, they're mentioning that, you know, God has, has known us before we were even born. And sometimes he's going to bring you full circle to kind of show you, to prove to you that, that you're on the right track. And when I first met Bishop, I, I worked for the city of Los Angeles for a long time. And his daughter, he said, oh, yeah, she worked for the city of Los Angeles, and, and out of 10,000 people, we just happened to know each other. And, you know, the, uh, President Reagan, I guess, once said, you know, trust but verify. And so Bishop got on his phone and started dialing the phone number, and, and thankfully she said, yeah, I know Bo. <laughs> so then I was okay. But uh, like Bishop mentioned, uh, um, I just went to uh, Liberty University last weekend to graduate after uh, my little uh, journey of 31 years to get my undergrad, but you know, it's never too late. So I finished, uh, thank you very much. I finished my undergrad in religion from the School of Divinity, so I hope to uh, move on for my Masters of Divinity. And so that just uh, is one, one small thing that you know, that's, the Holy Spirit's been putting on my heart is that just a reminder is that God never forgets about you, and he never gives up on you. Long after we give up on ourselves, he will never forget. Even when I, 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 I was on my Jonah trip and everywhere else, you know, changed my phone number, moved everywhere. He left voicemails, everything, and he never gave up. And, and when, it, when it finally, I, you know, I had, to, I had to say, yes, Lord. And also just, to, you know, I also wanted to thank each and every one of you. I know bishops had my mom on a prayer list um, She's 75 years old and was in uh, stage five uh, kidney failure and dialysis for, for years. And they put her on a list. You know, she got on a qualified on a list to um, uh, get a kidney transplant. And they said, 75, I just don't know. But they don't know our God. And God not only got her on the list, but she received a kidney transplant back in, um, in December which was a miracle. So the kidney was doing fine, but, you know, the, the devil's not going to let you go that easy. And so she had a heart attack and a stroke while in the hospital. And at one time she was non-responsive for about four days, and my sister said, you need to get on a plane and come quick. So I called Bishop, and I said, hey, this is what's going on. Please keep me in prayer, but i got to take off. And the whole way there I was just thinking, you know, Lord, just, just let me get there. You know, I didn't know what to say, didn't know what to do, just, I just wanted to be there, just to see my mom. And I got there, and I, I did every prayer that I could do. I didn't have any oil, but I did the next best thing, and I know that the, the prayers of the righteous availeth much, and they availeth a lot. And it's, it's not just what I did, but it's what we did as brothers and sisters in Christ. And I went home that night, well, to the hotel, and I came back the next day, and that's the first time after five days at that time, she opened her eyes and began to speak. So, praise God. So, he does still heal people. He's still a working miracle, God. And a day after Mother's Day, she got to go back home to southern Missouri to her own home. 
And I talked to her yesterday, and she's resting in her bed. And I just wanted to let you know to be encouragement to you that just when you think that he may have forgot about those prayers, you know, maybe he forgot about you. He never gives up on you, and he never forgets about you. And he's still healing people. I don't care what anybody says. And at Liberty, they say that the motto there it says that we're training champions for Christ. And like Bishop said, you know, the, the devil's out there using our young folks to do a lot of things. But we need to keep them close, and we need to be training them to be champions for Christ instead of letting the, the, this whole world, you know, take them somewhere that they don't need to be. So if they're, if they're training them at young kids, you know, I, I worked in this city and in different capacities and in this area, and I know what goes on. And we have to be out there, and if we can't get them in the church, then we need to take Jesus to them. And it's through youth programs and good ministries like this, this is when we make a difference. But in this day and age of everything is politically incorrect, we have to believe that the word of God is the infallible and inerrant word of God, and we're going to stand behind it. And that's the word of God, and that's what we're going to stand on. And the rest of the world can do whatever they want to do, but we're not going to be afraid and ashamed of the gospel. That's what Paul said, and that's what we need to say. So I just want to say thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for taking a little minute. I didn't mean to take all your time, but I just wanted to encourage you with those two things that, you know, no matter what you're doing, what you're going through right now, you know, I just pray that you're encouraged and that the peace of God will be with you and protect you. And like Glennell said, you know, all you have to do is submit yourself to God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. So if he's still hanging around, like the back in Arkansas, they say, you know, you, you, you must be on the fence. So get off that fence and get with God. God bless you all. Give the Lord another praise. Thank you. Thank you, Ella Bo, for sharing that with us. We certainly appreciate it. We enjoy him. Amen. He's a great worker. So thank God for his continuing in his to pursue education and the work of the ministry. Bless you. Uh, Pastor Carson, amen. I know that sometimes you're not feeling that well, but if you feel like I'd like to hear it, you want to have a word, amen, Pastor Carson. You, you want to give the mic back there if you want to come up. Whatever makes you comfortable. I just want to recognize you. Amen. Someone give him a mic. Thank you, Pastor Carson. And Sister Carson, after he speak, we. Would you come and sing me one of those, one of those good old Holy Ghost songs that you? Amen. This fancy microphone on. Well, I give honor to God and just. Um, to everyone that is here, I'm just glad to be in the house of the Lord. To my wife and uh, sister, sister Farah and sister, sister Elise, Amen. You took I, I sent you one of my own. I know she's a blessing to you, but I'm an elder, a bishop. Uh, I'm so happy for being here today, and uh, sister Nodden, Amen, and bishop. I'm happy to be here today and happy to know that the Lord has kept us safe and kept us in the land of the living. I was 12 years old when I first, my first preached my, uh, my first message at, at Gethsemane. So I was trying to get here because I wanted to hear our boy here, but amen. How did he do? All right. Amen. And I'm happy for... I'm happy for Glenn, uh, uh, Lou Glenn, whatever. Amen, Glenn L. I'm happy for him. He's a, he's a blessing to the church. And, and uh, I'm happy for uh, today that you all are honoring and giving them the opportunity to preach the word and to use their gift. So I'm just happy to be here. I'm through. Man, I give honor to Bishop Nodden and First Lady Nodden and to Mother Billy and to all of the saints, Mother Ruckler. Amen. All of you. Amen. Dr. Chalk, Ellie Lee's, all everybody. <laughs> the past. I'm so glad to be here today. 
and I tell you, my heart was overwhelmed. I'm, I'm, I'm always um, in awe when I see your grandson. Amen. And, and I'm sorry I missed Ramsey. We were trying to get here. Uh, just a little delay. I had to take Ella Carson to get some blood work done. Uh, and that's why we were late. But uh, anyway, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Amen. I, I know I've been changed. I, I know I've been changed. I, I know I've been changed. The angels in heaven done sign my name. Oh, I, I know I've been changed. I, Cause the angels in heaven done sign my name. If you don't believe that I have been redeemed, the angels in heaven done sign my name. You can follow me down, down, down to that job. Strange angels in heaven done sign my name. I said, I No, I've been changed. Oh, I. I know I've been changed, cause the angels in heaven sign my name. I stepped in the water, and the water was cold. The angels in heaven sign my name. You know it But not my soul. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the angels in heaven sign my name. Oh, I, 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 I know, I know I've been changed. I'm so glad about it. I know I've been changed. I know I've been changed. The angels in heaven, they sign my name. I said the angels in heaven sign my name. Oh, the angels in heaven sign my name. Heaven, don't sign. been changed. How many know that you've been changed? How many know that you ain't like you used to be? How many glad you're not like you used to be? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Carson. Sister Carson, thank you. Everybody give God some praise all over the building. I believe it's 
prayer time. I believe it's healing time. I want you to stand with me for just a minute. You that have conditions, you need God to do something for you. The Lord laying on my heart, you have a loved one that you want to be changed. That's one of the biggest struggles that I found that many of the churches are dealing with, unsaved loved ones. And they are connected so tight and involved that it hinder them. Amen. It is burden them. But I know that God changed me, and I believe God can change anything. The young people have spoke today that have encouraged our hearts, and we have heard testimony, amen, of God healing. Amen. Some of you have been healed, and some of you, amen, have heard the healing of those that have been sick and afflicted and going through in the midst of the storm, and even, amen, and facing the storm. But I know that I've been changed because God changed me. I know I've been changed when I tried everything and everything else failed, but God changed me. How many need God to do a change for you? Amen. Just lift those hands, standing where you are. Father, I thank you right now. I thank you for your anointing. And I praise you for all of your goodness. I praise you, Lord Jesus, that I'm not like I used to be and I'm not what I used to be. But I thank you, Lord, that you have changed me into a vessel of praise. Have your way in my life and send delivers right now. Heal, heal. Lord, heal in my family. Heal in my home. Bring healing there. I don't even know how to tell you to do it, but God, just do it. And if you show up, I know it's going to be well. In the name of Jesus, the sick room, the hospital room, in the name of Jesus, visit our young people in the schoolroom, the schoolhouse. Protect them as they go to and for. Open up doors of blessing and anointing. Have your way. That struggling mother, that struggling father, the God, go there and work a miracle. You are a miracle working God. You work miracles in time past. The testimony has went forth that you have worked miracles in our life. I just come to thank you today. And I want to tell you that to do it again. Somebody else needs you to do it again. Somebody else needs you to touch again. Break down the yokes again. Let them leave here a different way. We come one way, but we're going back another way. Say yes! We come one way, but we're going back another way. Touch that woman's body right now. Touch her mind right now. Bring her out of that situation right now. Turn it around. My God, we need you to turn it around. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. I said the blood of Jesus is against you. Satan, we come against you right now. You have no authority here. Yes! You have no authority here. Oh, Lord. Thank you. And I come to just tell you thank you right now. I don't want to ask you for anything. But I just want to say thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Ah, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here. Yeah. Lay your hands on somebody. Touch somebody and say heal them right now. Send you healing virtue. Go ahead and touch somebody and say, heal them. Heal them, Lord Jesus. If you pray for somebody else, God will heal you. I said, tell them, say, heal them, Lord. Heal them. Heal them in the body. Heal them. Oh, heal them. Say yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Hey! Bless the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Thank you. God, praise God for his goodness and his mercy. 
Amen. Before we receive our offering this morning, I was reading something some time ago. I can't remember exactly, but they were sharing that the man was working in the in a factory, and then when lunch break came, they took their lunch break. Was sitting at the table. You know how people sit at the table and eat, eat the lunch. And this guy, he was a great big old rough looking guy, uh, taller than than uh, Ella Richardson there. And then he is a muscular man. You know, big, big bogey looking guy. Y'all ever saw those type of people? You know, you see them coming, you go around the other way. You know, you kind of bypass them. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't crowd them. That's the way he was. And the other guy was a little, little puny fella. Not, not, not that big. And no muscles. You know, and he didn't look like he could uh, do that much. You know, in a tussle. And, but they happened to be sitting at the same table eating lunch. Their lunch break, they was eating lunch. And so this big bogey guy opened his lunch pail and pulled out his sandwich, opened the sandwich up, raised up a side of the bread and looked inside of it, and he holler, peanut butter, shoot. Ugh, he made a, just a very negative comment about his sandwich. He went on to eat the next day. They happened to be sitting together again. Same guy, big guy, little guy. And he owed me lunch. Little guy didn't say anything. The second day he owed me lunch and pulled his sandwich out, raised up part of the bread and looked up under the bread to see what was on the sandwich. And he said the same thing. Oh my God, peanut butter again. The little guy kind of just getting a little annoyed, but he didn't say anything. Third day, same thing happened. They sitting together, big Hulk Hogan guy, opened his lunch pail up, put out his sandwich, raised the bread up, peeped up under the bread to see what was under there, and said, Oh, God, peanut butter again. So the little guy just got tired. He said uh, he didn't want to, he didn't want the guy to get upset with him. He said, sir, uh, with no disrespect to you, he said, why don't you ask your wife, since you don't like peanut butter, why don't you ask your wife to put something else in your sandwich for lunch? And he grabbed the little guy in the collar, snatched him up with one hand, shook him real good, said, you better wash your mouth. He said, I make my own lunch. <laughs> Y'all didn't get that, did you? He said, I make my own lunch. The moral of the story and he was eating peanut butter because he was making peanut butter sandwich. And many times we are reaping and receiving according to what we put into it. You go to church, you don't put nothing into it, you don't get nothing out of it. You go to the bank and you can stand in the line all day long. You stand in, Sometimes you got some long lines in banks. And when you get up there, you ain't putting nothing in the bank and you can't get nothing out. Tell him I want to get some out of somebody else's account. <laughs> the only somebody can get something out of somebody else's account is my wife. She can get anything she wants out of my account. <laughs> but I allow it. Amen. The moral of this is that if you put something in and you put prayer, you put commitment, 
You put in love, you're going to receive love. You put commitment, you're going to receive commitment. You put joy, thought being joyful and being happy and loving people, you're going to receive it. You put peanut butter, you're going to eat peanut butter. Whatever you put in it, that's what you're going to get. How many believe that? Amen. We want to encourage you to share in the offering. The ties in your offering. Amen. Be a blessing to ministry. Would you do that? Everybody stand all over at this time. We're going to ask. Do me a favor. Uh, Jess is not here today. And, and, and uh, come on, all the brothers, come on. Come on, Tyrell, Andre, Ella Richardson, come and stand there with Ella Richard, Ella Hope. I want the men to come and receive this offer for me today. Just stand at the table, all the brothers. All the brothers. Stand here and encourage the people. Amen. All the brethren that are here today. Amen. Just stand with me today. Amen. Thank you, Ella Carson. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Would you do that for me? Hey, sometimes people encourage when they see you are giving and you are being blessed and, and they see what God is doing for you. Share, you, you sharing your blessing, you find out that uh, how God have healed and worked in your favor and you share that many times and encourage others to do so. Amen. Amen. Give you time to get your envelope. Amen. We care. Thank you for just coming, the brothers. Amen. They're standing with me. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. Okay, you can come, direct them out, sister. Come on, everybody come in at this time. Come on. Give us a little music there. Everybody. Everybody. Father, we give you praise and we thank you for each of those that have shared today. Thank God. Amen. You may be seated. God bless you. Well, this evening, um, Mother Nelson is, is speaking at St. Tabernacle in their Women's Day, annual Women's Day service. 